I bet you're all asking, how on earth do they measure the height? Well, I can tell you that uh, sports engineers from Sheffield Hallam University will calibrate the height. They have two high-speed video cameras zoomed in on the anticipated apex of the jump, and the camera films up to 1,000 frames per second. And of course, they measure from the base of the tower up to the bottom of the skis. And here's the man first to go. Great technique, his coach has been saying, but he gets very nervous. But at the moment, Graham, he looked pretty damn cool. He does look cool, calm and collected. And he is a dancer, so he'll have good explosive strength. Onto the end run, a little bit of a snowplow there, just checking his speed. How much pop will he get? That looks pretty high. That looked good from Louis Spence. He was able to pop, there was a little bit of a kick. He didn't get the grab on the ski, but timed the pop perfectly. Look how he launched himself into the air. Now remember, we measure to the lowest point, so there's no advantage being a tall, lanky individual. It's not how high you can reach, it's how high you can get your skis up. That's why you need to now lift those skis as you go through the apex of the jump. a little bit of icy coming down at the point of the kicker is actually 42 degrees here in athletics to try and get the crowd pumped up and here she goes crouching low into the transition Doesn't